With Tier 7 Brawls here, the first chip that may have sprung to your mind is the new Tier 7 German Prinz Heinrich, and if it didn't, I'll show you why it's good. On Monday, the latest clan brawls started in a 2 versus 2 format, lasting for an entire week. Because of the tier, you'll only be facing destroyers, cruisers, or battleships in any composition. Since these maps are usually rather small, Heinrich is perfectly equipped for almost any engagement. You have decent guns, amazing secondaries, long-range torpedoes on each side, complement with a Hydro. Oh, and did I mention it's quick? With that ideal range of attributes, that means it's able to deal with all three classes. And although the mode has been live for less than one day, I've been having a wonderful time in it. Of course, it is possible to mess up as I have had one loss so far, but overall, this ship has provided a landslide of wins. In the background is one of my better games, but we'll also get into a live game afterwards. Whilst this first game is playing, if you were curious of what build I'm using, it's a standard secondary build. For the upgrades, I've gone for auxiliary armaments, damage control, secondary batteries and steering gears. For the commander, it's only 13 points, but I'm running gun feeder, grease the gears, long range secondaries, adrenaline rush and manual secondaries. And with that replay coming to an end, we'll now move on to a live game. Now, the nature of these games are very quick, so there's a good chance that this will probably end within about 5 minutes. You do have around 15 minutes for if somehow you don't win or lose in that time, but usually they are very quick. Now, the lineup here is quite interesting because we've got pretty much an identical layout. So, we've got a Flint and me in a secondary German ship, and so do the enemies. However, they are using a Scharnhorst, which is a premium ship, so we're going to see which of the two are going to come out on top, the premium or the new tech line. So, how I'm going to play this is I'm going to go a little bit wider here because both of these ships have got torpedoes, so the Flint has got like the 10km torpedoes and the Scharnhorst has got 6km whereas we do have a bit of an advantage because we do have 10 km torpedoes, so that could possibly prove to be quite good, and also we've got Hydro, so if we can get sort of uh, any info on torpedoes coming in, we've got a wider space to sort of manoeuvre. Now, the Flint does also have smoke, so we're going to be supporting them as best as possible, and it's really just going to be a battle of attrition, and hopefully we can get into this cap first, and maybe they go around this side, because if they go onto the B side, it's actually going to take them a little bit longer, because this cap is a little bit smaller, so we should be able to get the initial advantage, but we'll see what happens once this Flint does go into this cap. Of course, we are also rather quick as well, so we can also stay relatively close to our cruiser over here, but we'll just really have to see what happens and where we can start spotting stuff. The secondary range is 9.5 kilometers, and okay, that is the first ship caught off guard. Hopefully we don't get spotted. No, we haven't. I don't know if I've led that enough. It looks like I have, but they are angling, so we're probably not going to get a... Yeah, no, that wasn't really the best salvo there, and these guys are probably talking in Discord too, because they're in the same clan and in the same division as well, so we're going to have to see. Now, I'm going to tell our Flint to get back or maybe smoke, because they are probably yeah, going to get caught out by that Sharnhorst. Now, that flint is also going to be... Ooh, please don't hit them hard. Oh, that's not very good. Okay, yeah, that is a bit of an issue. So, have they done a... Okay, I might do a hydro in a second. I am going to also pop some torpedoes just around this corner here. And already you can see, yeah, this is, this is going to be a bit of an issue because we're going to have that flint just constantly firing on us. So, I've popped my hydro in. Okay, so those do appear to be the flint torpedoes. So, they've got one on... Yeah, those, those aren't even going to hit us, unless our flint's trying to... Okay, thanks for blocking that one. Much appreciated. But all look good, because we are now able to start focusing our secondaries. Now, the Sharnhorst does have 6 km torpedoes, so we can really afford to keep our distance, but with this flint also firing at us, we are going to be losing HP relatively quickly, so I was about to say I'm going to need to angle in before they do that. But thankfully, it looks like they overpenned, and those just went through our nose instead. Now these torpedoes are coming in and we could potentially hit one, but I think they are going to get through that gap relatively easy. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully we can just have our flint do a decent amount of damage and yeah, they've just managed to squeeze through that and I'm going to leave my damage control teams... Oh, hello. Okay, 18 seconds left. I'm imagining the flint's going to buy some torpedoes off too and that's pretty bad news because that means... Yeah, there we go. So, thankfully, we do have the steering gears, and we're able to start turning much quicker. Yeah, there we go. So, we're going to focus our fire on this flint, as they are probably going to be the most dangerous out of the two. Now, this Sharnhorst is coming in for a second run of torpedoes. I don't know if we're going to be able to survive this or not, so what I'm going to do is... 
I'm just going to punch it forward. Hopefully we... Yeah, there we go. These are coming in. We might be able to survive and only take one hit. So I'm going to launch some of these. And Okay, that's, that's going to be quite dangerous. If we can just reload now, get a Citadel, we could possibly win this. We've got five seconds left. I don't think we're going to be able to do it in time. No, that's going to hit us, and we just lost. But you saw how close that was, considering how fast our flint died. And that's really just how quick these games go. I mean, that is my second loss of the night of... Well, I'll probably show you now. Yeah, so you can see how many wins I've had there. I mean, it's more or less the fact I've been talking you through what my decision-making was there. But overall, this has just been a very, very good chip to play. But... That really concludes this video because I just wanted to show you the Heinrich and Brawls, but that is it. So if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.